Hey, the bugs. Welcome to the last week of homework, and we are going to dive right in. We're looking at adding and subtracting within 1,000, and I gave you both options as sideways and stacked. Now, I prefer mine stacked, so I'm going to rewrite them, but you can use the strategy that for you. Once they're stacked, we add starting at the ones place. Five plus one is six. Seven plus four is 11. Five and one is six. Add two is eight for 816. Two plus five is seven. Six plus eight, 14. Four and three is seven. Add one is eight. Coming down here again, I'm going to stack them because that's my preference. We have six, five and four is nine, one and eight is nine. Nine and one is 10, don't forget to carry. Nine and one again is 10, add four is 14. Seven and the carry is eight, 840. For this challenge, we had to find the missing number. So I had to ask myself, six plus what gave me a one? Now I know that a one, is going to have to be a carry because six plus a number is not gonna give me something less. So if I did six plus four, it's 10. Six plus five would give me 11. Now I have a carry. I'm looking for a total of nine. Two plus my carry is three. I need six more to get nine. And then I come over here and I'm left with five. So 566 plus 25 gives me 591. Same strategy over here. I need nine plus a number to give me zero. Nine plus a number to give me zero. So let's start with what I have. Seven and six is 13. I carry. Nine plus the carry already gives me that zero. So that means I need a zero here. I need a number plus three to give me nine. It's going to be six. So 697 plus 306 gives me 903. Same strategy. Six plus what gives me eight? It's two. Oh, that got a little crazy. Eight plus eight is 16. Six plus one is seven. I need one more to get eight. 682 plus 186 equals 868. Down here, finding the difference or subtracting. I am absolutely going to stack these. Two minus six. If the top number is smaller, I need to borrow. This one was tricky because we had to double borrow. I can't borrow from a seven, so I have to borrow. Let me change my color. From my six, which makes this ten. Nine. Now we can do it. Twelve minus six is six. Nine minus nine is zero. Six minus one is five. 506. Over here, 2 minus 7, I can't do it. 7 becomes a 6. 2 becomes 12. 12 minus 7 is 5. 6 minus 4 is 2. 5 minus nothing is 5. Coming down here, I'm going to change it back to black and stack it. And here we go. Borrowing because I can't do 5 minus 9. 15 minus 9 is 6. 1 minus 4, I can't do. 11 minus 4, though, I can do. It's going to give me 7. And 7 minus 5 is 2. Over here again with the double borrow. Can't subtract a 3, but I can subtract 13 minus 7 gives us 6. Can't subtract 5 from, or can't subtract 6 from 5, but I can. Do 15 minus six gives me nine. Three minus two gives me one, 196. Challenge with subtraction. Here we go. I know that I can't subtract from six. I'm gonna have to borrow. 13 minus six gives me seven. Now three minus what gives me one? I need a two. And what minus one gives me five? I need a six. 643 minus 126 gives me 517. Over here, seven minus seven gives me zero. Seven minus six gives me one. And eight minus three gives me five. 877 minus 367 is 510. Last one, two minus what gives me four? Now this one I had to really think because I was gonna have to borrow. I know that much. 12 minus eight gives me four. 
Now over here, I need it to be a two, but I had to borrow from it. So if I did three minus one, it would be two. But since I had to borrow, I needed to make it a four. And then six minus one is five. 642 minus 118 leaves me with 524. Questions on this? Bring them to class or send me a message. All right, round your answer to the nearest tens. So notice, round your answer to the nearest tens. 479 plus 506. Nine and six is 15, I carry. Seven and one is eight. Four and five is nine. This is my answer, but I want it rounded. 990. Five or above, give it a shove, it rounds up. Six and three is nine. Six and four is 10, I carry. Three plus two is five, add one is six. Rounded to the nearest tens is 610. Five or above, give it a shove, I have a nine. Over here, I'm gonna stack it. Eight and nine is 17. Nine and one is 10, add four is 14. Five and one is six, add one is seven. And rounded to the nearest 10 is 750. Subtraction, watch your signs. Seven minus one is six, I have to borrow. 10 minus eight is two, six minus four is two, but rounded to the nearest tens is 230. Down here, I'm gonna stack it. That's my preference. And I'm gonna have to borrow. 14 minus eight is six, five minus three is two, nine minus three is six, but rounded. 630. Again, stacking as that's my preference. I think it helps my brain match them up a little bit better. 5 minus 3 is 2. 3 minus 2 is 1. 6 minus 1 is 5, but rounded. 510. 4 or less, let it rest. Round down. And that is the end of that page. Any questions, send me a message or bring them to class. Find the missing value. Now, we have some options, but what I like to do is when I'm subtracting, I know that if I add these numbers together, it's gonna give me the answer as well because the answer to subtraction is addition, right? I can use some opposites. So if I'm trying to figure out what's missing, I'm gonna take my answer and I'm gonna subtract it from here because what's left over is still gonna give me my answer. I can flip-flop them. So I'm gonna borrow 11 minus three is eight, five minus two is three, eight minus one is seven. So if I check it, 861 minus 738, my answer should be 123. Let's check it. 11 minus eight is three, five minus three is two, eight minus seven is one. There we go, my missing number, 738. For these, I can use my opposite operation. I can subtract to see what's missing. So seven and 13, uh, 13 minus eight, it's gonna give me five. Seven minus six is one, nine minus two is seven. So if I check this, 715 plus 268, it matches. This is my missing number. Down here, again, I'm going to subtract. And since my second number is there and my first number is missing, I can add these. I get two, I get 13, and I get nine. Let's check it, 932. If I take away 562, I should get 370. 
and I do. So when our first number is missing, we add. When our second number is missing, we subtract. For these, I can subtract because that's my opposite operation. 431, let's check it. If I add 114, yep, it's a match. Down here, first number is there. Second number is missing, so I can subtract my answer. 336 should be what is missing. Let's check it. It's a match. Over here, opposite operation, let's subtract. We should be missing 543. Let's check it. It's a match. Any questions on this page? Bring them to class or send me a message. Last one, we're looking at some word problems. The icky, sticky, tricky. It says a toy store has 406 baby dolls and 345 toy cars. How many toys does the toy store have? How many? I'm going to add 406 plus 345, 11, 5, 7, 751 toys in the toy store. Over here, what are they asking me to do? What numbers are they giving me to use? A bakery has 742 cookies. On Friday, they sold 243. How many are left? That tells me I need to subtract. So I started with 742. I sold 243. We got a double borrow, but you can do hard things. 12 minus 3 is 9. 13 minus 4 is 9. 6 minus 2 is 4. We have 499 cookies left. Coming down here, a local grocery store just got a shipment of 431 tomatoes. If they already had 157 out on the shelves, how many tomatoes do they have now? That's an adding problem. 431 plus 157. They now have 588 tomatoes. A construction company ordered 431 bricks. The company used 311 on a fireplace. How many are left? I'm subtracting, looking for that special language that tells me what to do. I have 120 bricks left. Did we do this one? Yes, okay. Don't want to miss any. Catherine read 153 pages in one month, 259 pages in month two, and 208 pages in month three. How many pages did she read all together? We have a triple stack. I'm going to break them into two problems. Three plus eight is 11. Five and one is six. Two and one is three. And then I'm going to add... My last month, I have a carry, I have a carry, 620 pages. Last one, a factory produces 809 dog toys a month. They already produced 359. How many do they have left to make this month? Well, if their goal for the month is 809 and they've made 358, I'm going to subtract. I need to borrow, 10 minus five is five, seven minus three is four. They need to make 451 more. That brings us to the end of our work. If you have questions, bring them to class. If class is over, don't hesitate to send me a message. Have a great summer, Mathlete.